What up? Beak. We? Um, the... Oh, I'm gonna wait two weeks. Three. Oh. Okay. Well, while he's doing all that, let's get into the matchup. Because this matchup is a little tough on our end. So, I'm just going to... Here, this one I'm going to show first. This is the actual matchup. And I say actual because in the dock, um... There's a Vaporeon and a Quillfish Asui. They were replaced with he traded. I don't know why the dot's not updated. Probably something. Like a, I think they said maybe a glitch. I don't know. Um But now he has Swallow and Slow Kick. Which is a big problem for us. But it's okay. Um This is pretty scary. He's here's a Cyclozard, Cryogonal, all the way Golem. Um We don't really I mean let's I could show you guys that's Terrazar as well. He is jam right here. Is Dragon Fairy Steel, Ice, Electric Water, Electric Grass, Ice. I could actually see Lowland Golem coming. Um just because it does really good into a team. However, the six I think he's actually gonna bring is probably these, but I could see something getting swapped like Pom Simeon, maybe a Bombi. I I only say a Bombi because every time I've done mocks, they have always brung a Bombi. But yet again, I have Defiant with Annihilate. So it's just really sketchy. Cause then I just snag kills. And speaking of that, this is our team. We got we got basic floor just set to wall uh what's it called? Chiyu. This is Scarf to just try to get some kills because Annihilate kinda goes hard here, especially if he has land with intimidate or just the webs up. Uh basic set to just wall anything physical really. This to wall something that I don't specifically remember, but it was something. So I did mock for this last week. Because I was a week ahead, and then um, the person was like, okay, let's let's just wait until this week. So, I'm now, I have no mocks for this week, but you know, with Scarf Shaman, this goes pretty crazy here. And then, Heavy Duty, so. I see that he's messaging me, so let's get ready for this. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited. Let's do this. If we lose, it's completely fine with me. Deli, what? <laughs> Good luck, have fun. <laughs> Deli the goat. <laughs> what? Okay, so the golem did come, like I said, not a surprise. Did he have, um... Oh no, I did this glitch on accident. He doesn't have landers. Well, I gotta fix this. How do I fix this? There you go, I got it back. Then up to Simeon, Nova Bombi. He has... Golem. And he has this Deli bird. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'm excited now. Um, I'm just trying, buddy. Uh, let me get the link going. Uh, oh my God, I didn't mean to do this all. Uh, live link. There we go. And yeah, let's get into this. Um, I need to think. I need to think. I need to think. What was my lead? My lead was... Okay, so what's threatening a lot of mods? Chiyu's scary. I like Claude here. Is Claude switching? Okay. But we could lead Claude here, I think. Because Claude right now is... Uh, how much is Deli doing to Claude? <laughs> That's a crazy thing I'd say. Um, Hustle. Uh, what the hell does Deli get again? He gets moves, but I just can't remember them. Um, oh, a Vora Veil! Oh, that is so smart. I didn't know. Okay, now we know what to, now we know what to prep for when this guy comes out. Okay, perfect. That's, that's really good though. Uh, let's check a Brave Bird. I kinda need to check this specifically on, uh, what's his face? Corviknight, he does get Destiny Bond, which I generally, I really, really, really think he's going to, uh, try to do here. Uh, wow, he does a lot. How much is he doing to core of 16%? Okay, he's not doing a lot. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, sleep talk. He gets spikes. He's actually pretty not bad. We, le we lead the Claude here. And he leads Slow King instantly. Makes sense. He's just trying to get that, that pivot out. Um, I actually think I'm going to just try to go for the Toxic here. Oh, wait, I'm slower? Oh, okay. Oh, hey, we get the daily. Okay, so he's gonna go for um, Aurora right now. 
And in that case, okay, so he's gonna go for a veil, and then, hmm, there's a lot of things I kind of want to do here. It's like I can go in this, and oh, I could pretty much snack a kill. Or I can go into this, and I'm not threatened by anything. I'm gonna go for this. He gets spikes up. That's okay with me. So I actually thought he would do hazard spam with Ogopon, but this is fine with me because this is much, 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 much worse for him. Um, into Jolteon. Jolteon into Deli Bird. I hate that there's actually no set for him, so I'm kind of just going off, you know, whatever. Uh, drill Heck. Uh, Ice Spinner. In 50%, so I think I'm going to tear ice and sub. Oh, I go straight into slow king. Okay, that's fine. We'll see how much slow king is going to take from this. He's not gonna like this well. 45%. He goes for the future site. I'm going for the thunderbolt again while he goes for the chilly reception. Oh, he's going for the scald. Um, Yeah, I predicted it. Uh, what question is, do I live this? Woo, we live. Okay. <laughs> That's just what I'm scared of. Okay, perfect. I, I thought he actually would go into Lando instead of that. Um, so this, he is tail what on this? He is tail electric, ice, and grass. Okay. Um, hold on. Let's get a lot here. He is spike set. Crazy enough, he isn't, uh, well, we don't know if he's a warrior, but he went for spikes instead. He's Scald, and he is Future Sight. So we basically know this guy's set. He's probably going to be, you know, uh, what's it called? Slack off has his final move. I just want to check. He does not have... Okay. And 45% is, well, just min damage, basically. That, yeah, that is that is max, max min. Twice in a row. If we got, if we got like, two mid-rolls, he's dead. He's looking, he's just dead. So that's uh, kind of crazy here. Um, max, max, mid. Okay, so Golem, Golem here is really, really scary. I was just saying how this mon is a threat. Um, I think he's gonna be ice out of all things. So let's get that ice going. It's probably Terror Blast. Terror Blast. Um, Terror Icy does live. Yeah, okay. How much does Clog take? I mean, not well. How much does Annihilate take? Okay, I take that pretty well. I'm gonna go into Annihilate. Goes for Rock Polish. Okay. Does plus two outspeed Scarf? It doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel bad. Uh, instead of going for that, actually, I should probably go for the Fire Punch. He's oh, no, no, uh, he actually lives Fire Punch. Wow, what a chunky boy. Here we go for the CC. He goes into Deli Bird. Okay. And Deli Bird is dead. Goodbye, Deli Bird. RIP. Rest in peace. <laughs> Wait, what? What do you mean I'm not fun? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I'm done. I guess I killed the deadly bird. So this gets walled. Um, nothing. <laughs> so this is bad because he is balloon. We need to break this right, right now. Balloon is very, very big. He is terror ice. Um, rock polish. Okay. Air Balloon's really scary on this mod, because this mod could pretty much do whatever he feels like right now. Old Dango versus Overnight. I think it's 45% I'm going to. He Shadow Balls and gets a crit. That's actually really bad. Okay, perfect. That's fine with me. That's fine with me. Oh. I love this. That's fine. Oop. <coughs> Alohan Golem's dead. Amazing. So now I don't have to worry about that. Um, I actually really like just going into this. 
because if it's Slow King, I'm U tuning. If this is Golden Go, I'm Fire Punching. If this is Chi Yu, I'm CCing. If this is, um, actually, I guess this would be no. I get the Fire Boots. Like I just CC or something, and he's dead. So this is a big, big, big boost here. Um. Okay. So one thing that's actually pretty funny enough, if he went for the Shadow Ball. The same turn he just got the critical hit, he had a roll to kill Corviknight there, which could have actually just lost me the game on the spot. Like, that's how that's how scary Balloon Golden Go is. So, great prep on his end, but I think that might be a miss. I think he had to go for the roll due to me already having a great stuff. Okay, Chi Yu. If Chi Yu actually lives this, it doesn't. Oh, he is Scarf of his own. Okay. Okay, so I select to lose Annihilate, but that's fine. I always had plans to just kind of lose Annihilate. <laughs> and now I kinda, okay. So if he's fast on Annihilate, he's fat, okay. She used Scarf. He's like, okay, so he is literally max, max speed choice Scarf. 448. Um. So in this case, Ah, okay, so he's minus two right now, and he's doing over here. So, minus two... Okay. Uh... Floor just he's only doing 27% now. Um, of course, once that sucks... I, I think I'm going to go into this. And I say that because I kind of want to just Moonblast here. Cause I know this is Scarf now, overheat. Like he, he, um, he's just like, you know, he's gonna sit here. The real question is, I think he goes into this Golden Go. Which kinda sucks, so I don't really have, uh, no I do. Oh, he does go into the Slow King, that's okay. 17%, well, how much did we do to Moonblast? 21%, perfect, so. I am fast, so he goes into Landorus now. He's just trying to pivot to get that regen back up, smite, smite. 41%. He's not lefties. Um, into Landorus. There he is. Um, he could be Scarf. How much? He's doing 70%. My god. I kinda just wanna go into this. I'm gonna go into this. He might U turn. Please don't U turn. He gets rocks up. Oh, amazing. Amazing. Okay. Shaman. This is amazing because we could kind of... Okay, how much am I doing to Chi Yu? That's a real question. Okay. How much is Landers taking? And he, he's defensive with self Fox. He does go into Chi Yu. Okay, oh, imagine I just lose power there. Would've been amazing. 66% or 34%. That's actually kind of big. Um, I know he's scarfed, so... Wait, she used Skyth is 448. I'm also 448. This is a speed tie. Minus two spadef. Ooh, do I go for this? <laughs> do I go for this? I do have a free switch into Florges. I'm gonna go into Florges. It's okay. And he does flame, which does 37%. We get that wish off. Got on his end. Um, I am gonna moon blast here. Yeah, I am gonna moon blast here. I need to break this. No! Okay, he really does just stay in. Um, okay. Golden go. He might win this. He's air balloon. He's right now minus two. No, he's minus one. Four of 25%. My ice types did not cook. <laughs> um, this is really bad because she is looking scary. Uh, so I have to win the speed tie next time she comes out. So with rocks, I'm taking 12%. So he can just shadow ball even at minus one. The one thing I think I'm going to do is just send this out. Um, Jolteon. And I think I'm just going to fire off a revolt switch. Yeah. So. 
380, and I know you're not Scarf, so even if he goes into land, it's just fine with me. Um. Hmm. There's a lot we're learning. We know he's Flame now, too. Flame Thrower. He's Stealth Vox. We don't know what item he is. Make it rain, and that's kind of all we know about his whole team. And Shadow Ball, right? That's his two attacking moves. Probably recover. Um, then we Volt Switch here. Hmm. Yeah, again, if he goes into land D, we just, we just Ice Beam or whatever. Terror Blast. Because there's nothing on his team that likes taking, you know. <clears throat> he sees right now that he's in a sticky... Because if he loses this balloon, Claude walls him forever. Like, let's see. I can see how much he's doing to Claude again. He's doing 37%. Um... First, we're unaware, so he's gonna keep doing 37%, but he only has 8 make it rain, so we can now stall him. What do we? And right now he's at 7, so. And he goes straight into Slow King. Good play on his end, good play on his end. Um, I am now gonna get you in and. I was gonna say, I think I heal up. However, I really do just want a U-turn. How much does Claude take from a Psychic? 54%. I'm gonna do that. He- if it- if this gets healed up, yeah. If he gets- if this gets healed up without threatening, then it's, you know, practically game for him. I can go into this now. And I know... I know what you are. Yeah, you're, you're just gonna go into this. That's fine. Do you remember? Um. Hmm. I feel like I sack this. Because if I sack this. Then I can just go into Jolteon. And then. This time, confirm a kill, basically. I mean, that's my whole shit. I think I'm gonna do that, I think. Imagine I doubled out. If I doubled out, that might have been game right there. I was thinking about it, but I'm just like, I don't know if I want to predict that too hard. I think I'm gonna suck with with you, and then go into Jolt. He does just Shadow Ball. So, now I can go into you, and I'm going to Roll Switch. Go straight into Slow King, he's Heavy Duty. That's completely fine with me. Um, I think I could just fire off a seed flare here. Okay, he lets that go down. Makes sense. And then Shiyu comes out. And if it's golden logo that comes out, then I'm actually just going to sack this to try to get the balloon off. If I get the balloon broken, then Claude wins, I think. Like, he just doesn't really have a way to stop. I mean, Landis is looking scary, but we'll see. He is looking real scary. Golden Go does come out. I'm gonna go for the seed flare. Okay, so we hit it. We get the spadef drop. His balloon's broken. He make it rain. Do we live this? Probably not. Oh my god, we live! We live those! We see it full again! We live those! Oh shit, that hype as fuck! That's so hype! Oh fuck yeah, dog! Hit it! Hit it again for the one time! No! <laughs> Fine! <laughs> okay. Um. So I go into this now, and I think I, uh. <laughs> Ha 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 ha.
<laughs> That's funny. Um, I think we just tail blast you. Oh. He's Skyf. Wow. GG. I'm not even mad. Wow. That's great, Skyf. Stealth like Skyf. Um. So yeah, if we hit that seed for then we won the game on the spot, but. Wow, that's actually a really good scarf, and he played that so well actually with that scarf play. Ooh, okay, okay, I see that, I see that. <laughs> Did you see my opponent? I think some of his brings are nice. Double scarf, yet again, another person bringing double scarf. <laughs> um, I like that he brought Deli Bird. I think Ogre Pond is better here. I think he did it for the, the lols, maybe, I guess. I, I do have a, a nice weak heavy, like for instance, Deli does beat up Annihilate, funny enough, so maybe that's why. Um, and Claude and all that stuff, so that's probably the reason. Um, but yeah, GG's to my opponent. That was a very close game. Came down to that seed foot hit. If I hit that seed foot, then that was game right there. Um, I don't know if I played really bad on any point. The crit into Core was actually super unfortunate. That too, I forgot about that. Um, Mainly because it, it would have gave me, he would have been able to heal up, and I would have not been threatened by Chiyu. That's that's a big reason. If I was able to be fully health, he's forced to go for a, um, what's it called? Chiyu into Corviknight. He's forced to, oh, he could go for a flamethrower, but it's sketchy. But, you know, it pretty much would make it where Claude could just be better. But yeah, so that, that's a little unfortunate as well, but that's all right. I think he played amazing on his end, especially with the, with the, what's it called? The bluffing, the scarf right there, the double scarf. Super nice there. Um, I see the rock polish too, that's smart, I like that for like any, anything he's trying to counter, but the thing is with the golem, he's base 45 speed. He didn't even outspeed scarf annihilate. <laughs> so, that's funny. But, um, yeah. I first lost a 2-0. That's fine. We're still at 8 plus diff in first place. That is completely fine. Um, would have been cool to end off with a, what's it called? We would have had like a, what, a plus 3 diff there? Yeah, we would have had a plus 3 diff there, so. But that would have been alright. So we would have had a 13 diff, but all good, all good. I'll see you guys next week. Where, uh, we're not only going to have another week for this, but we should be having the CDL, so yeah. Later.